Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today we are going to be playing Don't Start Pocket Edition. This game I have been wanting to play for so long, and I finally am playing it. I've been playing it for a little while now, for about like two weeks, and I've been trying to get myself used to it. And today we're going to be playing my, this world called Don't Start Reign of Giants, which is a game which is not... Which is an expansion of the regular Don't Starve game. But there's a lot more stuff in it. Like there's a couple of new like monsters and such. Which is really really fun. I just, it's all around just a really good game. I enjoy it. It's really fun to do. And there's a lot of different things you could do with it. Like these are new. These are different from the regular game. And it's really, really fun. I just wanted to tell you guys a couple of things to be mindful of when you first play this game. Because I've played this game for a while now. And I've pretty much gotten used to what goes on in this game but I wanted to tell you guys some stuff too so you guys can understand what this game is all about so let me just move this right here so I can watch my time so what don't starve is is a game where you have to don't starve as as you can see we have three gauges we have a stomach gauge a heart gauge and a brain gauge the stomach gauge is your hunger, which is how much you are starving. If you are, if it's like basically full, you're not hungry. But if it's getting close to empty and your stomach is all shriveled up, that means you're getting hungry. The heart gauge is your health. If your health is all the way up, that means you're nice and nice and healthy and ready to go out and fight some monsters. Your brain one is sanity. That is one of the newer things that I seen in video games even though this video game has been out for a long time now which is the use of sanity people people don't be like oh in minecraft you don't have sanity you just have health health and hunger but with sanity you it's a little bit more harder but it's easier to it's kind of easier to manage because there are different ways to be able to keep sanity so first, I'm just going to be giving you guys some insight on what you guys can do to be able to survive. Don't starve. So the first thing is, is always collect food. Always look for food that you see would be good for different things, such as these carrots I just collected. These carrots seem pretty good for food. And what I suggest Always try to start getting charcoal early. Charcoal is good for this thing called a crock pot, which is a diff which is a type of tool which can be used to create different foods instead of just eating basic things like rabbit morsels or like eating carrots or potatoes. Well, no, there's no potatoes in this game. Or carrots or berries and the way to keep sanity up is by picking flowers and creating garlands this is that's the easiest way to be able to get flowers is to be able to keep your sanity up and it really helps like if you have really good sanity you don't really need it but I suggest you keep a garland just handy. And see what I just found? I found a beefalo herd. A beefalo herd is a is a herd of these things called beefalo, which are creatures or just like your basic old buffalo. And I should unequip this axe because what I suggest you guys don't do is attack the beefalo. Because if you attack the beefalo, they will attack back and they will attack until there's n until you're dead on your feet and the bigger the herd is the more chances you are to be able to survive longer 
and I just found a touchstone, which is a thing you can have to be able to survive longer. Like, if you die, the touchstone will be able to be there to help you. Looks like I just found a swamp. Which is a place where you can get weeds, which are really, really good for creating different things. So it looks like I have found a bigger swamp. So now I, so now I'm gonna start getting ready for swamps, which are good for just collecting some different stuff. Like you can collect. Um, tentacle spikes, which are good for just like all around, just good for um, attacking because they are a good way of not having to use a spear every single time. And I'm just collecting manure, just beefalo poo, which is good because I'm gonna need some for like just farming in general. Also gonna need to collect some grass. So I'm just collecting some grass. And that's what I suggested you do not ever or like I said do not hit the beefalo and do not shave the beefalo. Because the beefalo are too cute to shave and they'll look sad when you shave them. So I don't suggest shaving them. So now let's start cutting down some more trees for our wood and I also need it for the log suit and I also need it for the spear. So I'm just chopping down some trees and let me also tell you some things about the enemies. There are the wolves and the spiders. The spiders are kind of the more easier of the things to kill because if you find them in small packs they'll be able to get them really easily. But bigger packs are a different story. So what I suggest you do is just be able to find whatever works for you. Okay so we're at 744 Night. Night. Love you. Love you too. Sorry about that. That was my mom. She was helping me pick out clothes for a funeral we're going to tomorrow. Or today because I'm gonna this is gonna be uploaded on Saturday. So whatever. So let's see how. Birch net trees. I also found something on my way back that I didn't see before. Which was a cold rock. Which is a rock that you can that has gold in it, which is fun. It's so much fun. It's just right up here, by this wormhole. See, it's right here. Oh, hey. Perfect. See this, this has also need rock. Let's see what else is over here. Ooh, more gold rocks. Ugh. And there is the most elusive creature you can find on Don't Starve. It is called
It's called the tall bird. The tall bird is like the most, is like the See, I told you. If you even get close to it. See, I keep telling you. These tall birds are elusive. Uh, it's kind of hard to deal with tall birds because those things that is why I hate big tall birds you know, tall birds are scary and they're mean and do not attack tall birds Whatever you do, do not attack tall birds. Because they'll hurt you and they'll kill you. And by uh, trying not to be close, how am I supposed to not be close? Nice. There's nothing. So thank you. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And I'll see you guys later. And hope you guys have a nice and safe day. Bye.